Hello everyone, I guess you and hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a Bloodfeld Slayer Guide for Old School RuneScape in my endless adventure to keep on completing as many Slayer Guides as I can. If you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like and if there's any guides you guys want to see, let me know in a comment down below. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and get on into it. So the first thing that I think we're going to start with from now on in these guides is should you kill them? For the most part, if I'm making a guide on it, I think you should kill them or else I wouldn't really be killing them and making a guide on it, but... Nonetheless, most of the guides, yes, you should kill them. The same with Bloodfelds. These, I think, are good XP both at, I mean, they're very good XP at high levels. We'll talk about that later. But at the low and med levels, they, they aren't that good because you're not going to be getting a lot of drops from them. But there are also problems uh, at those low and med levels with getting tasks that you can actually do good damage on. So I think, I mean, these are very low defense. I know that. But I think that these are going to be better than a lot of the other tasks that you'll get in regards to how much XP per hour you'll be getting. Also, at these later levels, it is cannonable. That's why I put the asterisk because most people are going to be doing cannoning at later levels and that's where it's viable here. As far as the requirements, I mean, there's no requirements technically to kill Bloodfelds, but these are more so recommendations. Uh, 60s in your melees are going to help, along with 60. Uh, mage 2, I mean, mage defense is going to be an issue here, but normally early on I recommend prayer, which is why I put 43 there, because I think praying is just going to make the most sense. You'll probably get dealt a lot of damage early, so I like to pray, but that's up to you. Um, if you don't have the melees for it, or you don't want to pray, or you don't want to take damage, then you can also range as well, as that's going to be the alternative DPS option. As far as what to expect from Bloodfelds, they're weak to essentially everything. You could use Mage here as well with melee and range, but melee and range are typically the go-tos for Slayer unless you're bursting or something like that. Um, as far as the max hit for Bloodfelds, it's only a 5, which isn't that high obviously, um, but I mean they hit somewhat consistent so I wouldn't take that for granted. Um, and their attack style is a melee based mage attack, so that's why it's a little weird uh, down there. Basically if you're praying against them, you want to pray melee, but if you're uh, focusing on defensive bonuses and just tanking, then you're going to want to focus mage defensive stats. In terms of what to expect as far as drops, if you're on a Konar task, they drop about a key every task or so. Um, not that great. Um, in terms of blood runes, they just drop in abundance. Um, one out of every 14 kills, you should expect it. Maybe even a little bit more common. Um, and then with the hard clues, you get them at about a 1 in 256. So it's not that great in terms of hard clues, but personally, I'm not that big of a hard clue fan, so it doesn't bother me too much. Then on to the melee gear. Um, this section is, you know, obviously a lot to read, but just pick whichever one is probably right for you. On the left hand side we have more of the earlier gear setup uh, that has a dragon scimitar which is accessible moderately early in the game and in that setup I have proselyte armor which assumes that you'll be praying melee. If you don't want to then just switch it out with whatever dehyde you have access to that is the best for you. And then from there the med setup assumes that you are just going to be tanking damage along with the higher level setup. If you are choosing to pray instead then just switch out either of those defensive uh, setups with proselyte as well so really up to you on how you want to go about it there but that's kind of the setups to go for um, in terms of your melee weapon um, as you can see in the top right once bloodfelds become demon soon the arc light will be the best in slot weapon in the game but i mean a lot of things are going to be demon soon so i wouldn't really waste your charges on this task instead just use whatever weapon is best for you and what you're trying to train like i said earlier they're basically weak to everything so just whatever you're trying to focus use the best available to you and then finally in terms of range gear i don't recommend ranging these tasks but it's very doable so if you want to, feel free. On the left-hand side, we have the black dehyde and magic shortbow setup. Switch out your dehyde and the barrows gloves if you don't have it for lesser versions if need be. The one important factor is to have your black mask or slayer helm imbued so you get that added DPS bonus. And then in the middle, we have the blowpipe setup. Blowpipe is a uh, big form of discussion lately, but still, if you want to use it, that is a decent kind of med to high level range setup. It costs a little bit. And if you want to fully max it out on the right-hand side, you can see how much that costs to do. Definitely would just focus the anguish first and if you end up getting any of the other pieces feel free But I think that the middle and the left hand setup definitely do a good job as well And then on to the meta kind of sweaty rates as far as what you can expect if you max out um, What you're doing here at Bloodfelds um, with just max melee alone like just meleeing nothing else You can expect 28k XP per hour if you're a max account um, in terms of if you add piety to that, you can then expect 35k Slayer XP per hour. And if you can and, and use piety, you can get up to 75k Slayer XP per hour, which is obviously absurd. And that's why it is an insane task for high levels at this point. 
If you're looking for the combat XP per hour, just multiply the rates by four. Not with the bottom rate though, that assumes a lot of range XP, so that's a little different. And you can also increase these rates a little bit if you're using an arc light uh, whenever that in-game update goes into effect, which for most people probably already will have for the people that are watching immediately after this comes out, not yet. So now as far as the inventory and how to get to the main spots for Bloodfelds, um, in your inventory you just want to have a special attack weapon. I have claws here, but if you have a dragon dagger, that's fine as well. A cannon setup, so cannonballs in a full set. Also, uh, super combat potions. These are divine, you don't have to use them if you don't want to. And then I have a bunch of super restores because I'll be praying. If not, switch out these super restores with food. Now at the bottom of my inventory, that's where kind of a lot's going on at. I have a holy wrench to save some prayer points. So if you're praying, bring that. A bone crusher just for the extra XP. A slayer ring as well to kind of move around and a house tab in case I need to go to my house. The other five items here we'll talk about when we get to the different locations. You don't need them for this first one. The first spot we'll talk is the Stronghold Slayer Cave right here next to Neve or Steve or whoever you got right there. And this one is just a nice, easy spot over here. Um, if you want a cannon, if you have the Runelite plugin, you can see the cannon spots right there. If not, just take note of where they are at. And I mean, it's pretty easy. You just go to town. It's a single combat zone, so it's not that bad. Uh, you don't have to pray if you don't want to here, but if you want to and want to make it a bit easier, you can, of course. And then if there's any ranging that you want to do, you can do that kind of in these crevices between the walls. Makes for a good time, and that is the first spot. I don't really use this spot all that often. Um, if you're assigned here, it's definitely not a bad spot to be, but there are better ones. And we'll talk about the first one right now. That is at the Xerix Heart, or the Catacombs right here. Um, if you don't know how to get here, there is a teleport here in a couple different ways right there. Um, you can also teleport to your house, which you can place down here. There's a Xerix Talisman teleport down here. You can run from over here. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to get here. Um, by this point in the game, you probably know. Once you get down here, there are two spots you can kill Bloodfelts at. One is up here, the other is over here. This is less populated, so typically I like to go for the western spot, but I'm gonna show the northern one just because there is also a nice little range safe spot. So this person's actually demonstrating it for me very well. Um, it's basically exactly what he's doing. I don't really have to show you it now. It's pretty simple. They just get stuck on this wall and you never really have to worry about it. As long as you're not attacking, like if he attacked that one, it would come and attack him. But as long as you're attacking anything out in front of you or over here, you're fine. Um, and usually there's someone over here. So that's why I don't come here because I like to grab them all in AFK. Um, and you know, that's not very nice to do over here when there's a lot of people kind of competing. So if you want to use this spot, you can. Personally, I like to go for the other side out on the west. If you are going to this western spot over here, there's a little rock fall that you're going to have to mine. So bring a pickaxe or you're going to have to run around the south and you can still get up there without one. Uh, it just makes it a little quicker if you have a pickaxe. So there's a nice spot over here too. If you kind of want to opt for the more secluded area, that's up to you. And then finally, the best spot in game now is at the Meyerditch Labs. Uh, if you have Sins of the Father completed, you can kill Bloodfelds in a multi-area where you can cannon. So it is absolutely insane as far as how to do that. Like I said, Sins of the Father needs to be completed. And if I just bring a Draken's Medallion and teleport to the top one right there, Versenhaza. And there's a bank here too, so if you need to do any banking, you can. Um, also bring your Vire outfit because this will allow you to get out of the mines quicker. So if you have the quest done, you just talk to this guy, he'll kick you to the mines, you'll have your gear, and you'll be good to go. Now, what I didn't do, but <laughs> should have done when I was back there, is grab a stamina. I'm actually going to do it right now. You have to drink a stam dose no matter what, or else you're just going to run out of run and you'll just be way better off if you end up doing it. Once you're down here, talk to the uh, juvenile and he'll just kind of send you on out to the town. This place is awful. Luckily, um, once you have this all completed, you don't have to run around that much. You just kind of click on over here. I'm running to the other side. You'll kind of get pathed around these houses. I just marked a tile so it's easier for me to see. And then once you're over here, open this door and you'll want to get on down to the staircase. So that's where they're at, is just right down there. Um, if you haven't been here before, it is kind of a little bit of a hike once you're down here. It's not too bad. It's just a long little looping path to the opening over there. So uh, I'll be back once I run a little bit. 
So once you're down here, switch on back to your gear, and you're going to see a bunch of Bloodfelds out here. Um, one thing I did kind of forget, I guess, is if you want to, you can bring a Din's Bulwark instead. Might be a better special attack for a multi-area, considering it attacks tons of things at once. Um, so you can kind of strategize that and plan that special attack a bit better. If you have a cannon, like I said, with the Runelite plugin, it will mark the spot right there and just place it down and just stand a tile to the northeast of it, and you should be able to get some nice two-hit spots there like you're seeing um, so I mean after that it's up to you if you want to pray piety or whatnot I'm guessing most people probably would down here but it's a little bit of extra cash of course I think if you're willing to spend money on a cannon and multi though you should pray piety and then from there, if you want to bring slaughters, if you want to bring expeditious bracelets, that's up to you. A room pouch with high alks is a possibility as well. There's a lot of other things you can kind of add to a slayer setup if it kind of fits what you're looking for. It's really satisfying. It's a really good task, and I definitely recommend it if you have the ability to do so. Even, again, if you're a more low and med level player that can't kill them here and spend money on prayer and a cannon and all that, they're still fine in their other forms. So, definitely a task I'd recommend doing. Uh, this guy, he's not, he's not letting me leave. Not letting me leave. All right. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Bloodfelds guide. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If there's anything you want to tell me, feel free to down below in a comment. And on top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, peace.